Hi everyone and welcome, it's Fontal here. So today I'm going to be talking about my best baby buys. So these are the items that I have found have been super useful since having my little one and I feel like I've gotten the most use out of them and I just thought it'd be helpful to share it with you. So let's get into it. So the first thing on the list is a silicone pump and specifically the Hacker. Now, when I was researching essential baby products to buy, this kept coming up and everyone was raving about it and I didn't really fully get the hype, but I was like, you know what? It seems like it's a decent price point. It seemed like it could be helpful. So I thought I would just get one and test it out first. And it has been so, so handy. I'm obsessed with it. Like it's super, super helpful. It's basically used when you feel engorged or when you want to collect let down from one breast while baby is feeding on the other side. And I've been able to use it to help me boost my milk supply. I've used it to help me combat engorgement, particularly in those early weeks when my body was regulating my milk supply and I just felt so full. It was really helpful for that. I've been able to use it to make up a freezer supply of milk, which has been really helpful when I leave the house. I know that my baby can still have frozen breast milk. It's so good and it's easy to clean, easy to sterilize. It's transportable. So if ever I'm on the go and I do want to take it, I can do, I highly recommend it. I've gotten so much use out of it. So definitely the Hacker is up there as one of my top baby buys. The next top baby buy on the list is my snooze pod. It's a next to me crib and it has just been such a dream. It has made those nighttime feeds so much easier. I found that in the first two months when my baby was very much still a newborn, she was waking up at least every two hours to feed because her stomach was still so tiny. And I just couldn't have survived it without having her right next to me in her crib. It made it so easy to just scoop her up when she was crying. I could pat her, I could change her and put her down and I didn't have to get up out of bed or completely disrupt my own sleep. So it definitely was like so essential for that first first few months and surviving the sleepless long nights. I highly recommend a next to me crib and the snooze pod in particular is very elegant. I love the color, I love the materials. We got ours in a natural finish with white canvas fabric and it's so beautiful, I love it. I'll definitely be getting more use out of it with the next kiddos as well. Next item, best buy is a travel system. I love our travel system. It's the Nuna Triv travel system. And the difference between a travel system and just having a pram is that you get a car seat, a pram. Ours also came with a car seat base and the pram came with a bassinet as well. So we got four items in the set and I think that they all work really well together. It's a really slick, elegant black finish, which we chose. And I just think it makes it so much easier having a car seat, a pram and a bassinet that all work together. They're all in the same family. And we've found the quality is fantastic. It folds up super, super easily. It's very compact. So whenever we're in the car, we can just pull up the wheels and throw them in the back without any problems. The car seat slots into the wheels really easily. We haven't needed an adapter or anything because it's all the same make. And then it was really nice to have the option of a bassinet so she could lay down flat for the first about four to six months we used it. And then when she got a bit bigger, we've now transitioned her into the pram seat, which is also really lovely and folds away really easily as well. So I love our travel system. And I think we got a really good bargain because we paid a little bit less because we got all of those items in one big bundle. So I'd highly recommend a travel system over individual prams and car seats. Next best buy is a baby carrier. So we got the baby born mini carrier and my husband in particular loves this one. He literally just always has her strapped to his chest and she can just doze off. 
it's the cutest thing. I have loved it as well. I actually tried out a baby wrap in the early days and I just didn't like it as much. I felt like it didn't offer enough neck support for the little one, whereas the carrier is so easy to use. You put your arm through one hole and it's easy to sit her in it. And it means that I can be hands-free. So if ever I've got chores to do, or I just want to do a few things where I've got my hands, I can strap her to my chest and she feels that comfort. She can doze off if she wants to, especially when she was a newborn and all she wanted to do was to snuggle with us. It was so, so handy. And I've also found that now she's a bit older, we can turn her around and she can face the outside world. She finds it really interesting to see everything that we're up to, so she loves it. And also when we go on walks, if we don't want to take our pram, we also have the option of having her in the carrier, which is really enjoyable for her. And it gives me a little bit of an extra workout because I'm carrying her as like a weight. So I definitely love having a baby carrier. It's definitely been a best buy and we've gotten tons of use out of it. Next on the list is a play kit, specifically the Love Every play kit. And they are so good. I love the play kits. I feel like they're really high quality. And basically what the play kit is, is a set of toys designed specifically for your baby's age of development. So we started from about the three month mark. So we've had three play kits so far and she's loved every single one of them. We've been able to rotate around the toys. And actually those are the only toys she plays with. She doesn't need teddies. She doesn't need any extra things because everything is in the play kit and she finds it sufficiently engaging to play with the same set of toys for two months, which sounds ridiculous, but it actually works perfectly we rotate them round and they're great because they work specifically on specific skills and motor skills so at least I have that peace of mind that her toys are really engaging her mind and working on her physical and mental development the colors are beautiful the materials are all natural lots of natural fibers and woods which is really elegant and the quality is so good that I know I'm going to get more use out of it for years to come with other little ones or family and friends as well. I love those toys and she really enjoys them too. The last item on the list is a caddy. Now this is another popular item that when I was researching newborn essentials came up a lot and I thought, you know what, let's give it a go. It might be handy and it's so, so handy. I found that it's better than having a designated changing station in the house because it's portable. So ours comes with handles and it's a really beautiful woven basket. And we just fill it with a few toys, uh, wipes, a muslin, nappies, and some lotion. And these are essentials that we've swapped out depending on what she needs. So there was a point where she really needed um, a, a nose aspirator, a nasal aspirator. So we put that in there as well. Now that she's a little bit less snotty, we swap that out and put a few books in there. You can just rotate the things that you need in it. And we loved it so much that we actually have three of them. So we have one in each part of our house and it's really easy to transport it around the room with us and it's really easy to make sure that she's changed, she's fed, she's well looked after and she has all of her essential knickknacks in one place. I love the caddy and I'd highly recommend trying one out. So that's it for my top baby buys. These are the items that I found super useful and if there are any others that you would say are top baby buys then share them down below in the comments and if you found this helpful then please give it a like and consider subscribing as well so that you can keep up to date with more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!